from some magnificent phenomenal people to stand under the light of those thousand splendid suns. Today, I feel empowered not to be a model feminist or an emblem of feminine oppression. Rather, I stand tall to personify one of the strongest female Shakespearean monologues, Titania, Queen of the Fairies, wife of Oberon, who sticks by her guns and refuses to give on the little Indian boy just for her principles. An extract from A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. Set your heart at rest. The fairy lad buys not the child of me. His mother was a mattress of my order. And in the spiced in the air by night, full often had she gossiped by my side. And we sat on Neptune's yellow sands, marking the embarked traders on the flood. When we have loved to see the sails conceive, and grow big bellied with the wanton wind, which she, with pretty and with swimming gait, veil in her attire, would imitate and sail upon the lands to fetch me trifles and return again, as from a witch, rich with merchandise. But she, being a mortal of my boy, did die, and for her sake do I, Rear up her boy, and for her sake, I will not part with him. These are the forgeries of jealousy, and never since the middle of summer spring met we on hill and dale, forest or met, by big fountains or by rushy brook, or by the beached margin of the sea, to dance our ringlets to the whistling wind. But with thy brows, thou hast disturbed our sport. Therefore the winds piping to us in vain, as in revenge, have sucked up from the sea contagious fogs, which falling in the land have every pelting river made so proud that they have overborne our continents. The ox had therefore stretched his yoke in vain, the ploughman lost his sweat, and the green corn had rotted ere his youth attained a bed. The fools stand empty in the drowned fields, the crows are fatted with the marine flock, the nine men's morris is filled up with mud. And the quaint mazes in the wanton grey, for lack of dread, are undistinguishable. The human mortals want their winter here. No night is now with high more carol blessed. Therefore the moon, the governess of the floods, pale in her anger, washes all the air that rheumatic diseases do abound. And through this distemperature, we see the seasons alter, hoary-headed frosts, far in the fresh lap of the crimson rose, childing autumn, angry winter change, the wanted liveries and the mazed world, by their increase, now knows not which is which. And this same progeny of evils comes from our debate, from our dissension. We are their parents and original. Thank you.